Hi class, we will be looking at vowels, consonants and diphthongs. After this lesson, you should be able to know what vowels, consonants and diphthongs are. Recognize their sounds. Know the difference of the sounds in particular consonants, vowels and diphthongs. Use them in sentences and distinguish sounds between two pairs of consonants. Vowels are the sound you make from your throat that has no obstruction when making a sound. We have five main vowel sounds in English language. They are... Can you help me out? A, E, I, O, U. Good job! A is pronounced as A, uh, as in apple. E is pronounced as E, eh, as in egg. I is pronounced as E, as in igloo. Okay, let's go on to the next vowel. O is pronounced as A, uh, as in orange. U is pronounced as A, uh, as in under. Consonants. They are a basic speech sound in which the breath is at least partly obstructed and it can be combined with a vowel to form a syllable. Simply put, consonants are all the letters in the alphabet that are not vowels. So, B, C, F, G, H, K, etc. are all consonants. Diphthongs are combination of vowel sounds. For example, A, A, O, O, E, E, I, U, I uses letters and letter combinations like I. I, G, H, and Y to form sounds similar to I, as in cry, sky, my, like, bright, and lime. A uses letters and letter combinations like EY, AY, AI, and A to form sounds similar to great. Here are a few more examples, as in break, rain, wait, bake, rain, ate, break. O uses letters and letter combinations like OW, OA, and O to form sounds similar to boat. Here are a few more examples, as in slow, moan, loan, go, o, and though. Ow uses letters and letter combinations like OU and OW to form sounds similar to ow. Here are a few more examples as in brown, hound, now, bound, house, and how. Ear uses letters and letter combinations like AI, A, and EA to form sounds similar to air. Here are some more examples, as in fear, stare, leer, stare. Care. Ear uses letters and letter combinations like EE, IE, and EA to form sounds similar to ear. Here are a few more examples, as in near, peer, steer, career, and hear. OI uses letters and letter combinations like OY and OI to form sounds similar to OIL. 
Here are a few more examples. Boy, toy, foil, coil, and coin. Uh. Uses letters and letter combinations like OO, OU, U, and UE to form sounds similar to cure. Here are a few more examples. Four. Lure, pure, sure, and manure. Differences To know the differences between these three, we are going to look at how unique they are by how they sound, gliding movement, which is speaking with ease, and the movement of the tongue. Sound a vowel is a speech sound made with your mouth fairly open, the nucleus of a spoken syllable. A consonant is a sound made with your mouth fairly closed. For example, by pressing your lips together as for B. Pressing your bottom lip against your teeth as in F. Or pressing your tongue against the top of your mouth as in L. A diphthong refers to a single syllable, where two different vowels are produced without a break. Gliding movement A vowel does not contain a gliding movement. A diphthong does contain a gliding movement. In consonants, only semi-vowels Y and W have a gliding movement. Movement of the tongue a vowel does not require a movement of the tongue. Pronunciation of vowels come from the vocal tract with no obstruction. A diphthong requires a movement of the tongue. A consonant requires movement of the tongue. Consonants require more precise articulation than vowels. Lesson Summary Today, we learned what vowel, consonants, and diphthongs are. We also learned differences between consonants, vowels, and diphthongs using sound, gliding movement, and placement of the tongue. 